Welcome back to another episode. Or I have no idea what I'm doing as always. Or I'm just hovering along. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the shenanigans. Sure. Head to the shop then. Parts, wheel hop bearing, I need you twice. Bushings, four of you. Well, the small ones at least. All the U bolts. Uh, eight normal bushings. Leaf spring. Spark plug is not here. Valve push rod eight. Okay. Four brake shafts. Crankshaft bearing cap. Alternator is electronics. Three. Pistons, two brake discs, that is quite some stuff that was gone on that car and it's only getting harder from now. Uh, fuel filter. Was it only the clutch plate or was there more broken on that? I don't know anymore. Fuel pump I do know. All the rings were broken on every piston. Well, it makes it a bit easier for me to figure out where it went what. Mm. If there's only one of those. Of course, there's only one of those. And I say that because in a bit we have to make sure that we actually put the new parts on new place. Otherwise, the game is unhappy and was like, it's still not accepted for the mission. Even though you got a new parts installed, it had to come from the old broken parts place instead of just changing it over. Uh... I gotta make a new one for that. Alternator. Oh, that's electric. Uh, electric, electric, electric. Nope, not tuning. Oh. <laughs> Messing it up, Ryder. Messing it up. Spark plug. So you're on a holiday now. Uh, uh, and uh, is, is that a, a good thing or is it a surprise holiday? <laughs> <laughs> You never know, you never know. Any plans for the holiday? You know what, let's start from the back. Because I know the leaf springs both have to be replaced. The bushings, the small ones, let's... Let's enable all the bushings actually. Just for me, just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so all these small ones have to be replaced. Check. Lee spring plate is fine. The Lee spring new bolts not. Got four new ones. Nah, just a week of work to do nothing before Christmas rush starts. Ah, ah, Christmas. Uh, the buzzy, the buzzy times. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to think of that just yet. No, 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 no. Okay, that's one part of the small ones. I think the wheel hop is fine enough. I think, I don't know. Just gotta help. Break disc should be fine enough. The pads not. I've got four new pads, which kind of tells me that they're gone everywhere. Calipers. Really? They're all fine? Okay. They're doing extended trading hours from mid-November. Yeah, going crazy. Oh. Wait, did I separate the wheels? Yes, I did. I did separate the wheels. Yeah, so we have to get back to that later on. All right. Uh, more bushings in place. Mm, 
This is the easy thing with scrap cars from a junkyard or something like that. You can just take it all apart and it doesn't really matter. You will replace everything anyway. You do not have to pay attention of what is new, what, what needs the old stuff, yada yada yada. I really hope I'm doing the brakes right though. Ooh, I've got so many small bushings. Alright, so that's one part done. And now we're getting to the struggling part. So you need a new bushing. But you Okay, wait. You need a new one. Let's do the new ones first. So I at least know that does belong there. Need to consider my options though. Wait just too tight for the work I do. So bussy with work slash chill slash eat slash sleep cycle that this year has flown by. This year has flown by for a lot I think. Like, poof, you're gone. What? Okay, this all need a new bushings. The challenging part will come later, though. I will uncheck a few things that are done. Clearing the blue area. That makes it a bit easier to see what goes where. You need both of them replaced. It's it, You really have to do it in the right order. Otherwise, it doesn't count. And I always forget which counts as pushing one and two. Or if that is one and that is two. I'm going to have to deal with it at least twice by the look of it. That one. So I guess this, did I do it right? Did I do it right? This is where you have to check twice. And now there's only one bushing left and that's not that one, that's that one. Yes. And here again, does that count as one and that is two then? Is that the right way around? Or is this the wrong way around? No, it's the right way around. All right. Okay, that was issue one. So let's get this part car back into Escape. Brake pads have to be replaced everywhere. That keeps it easy. And I just need that one. Really, the sway bar was not even in yet. Yeah, this one doesn't matter. Let's put the crankshaft back. Now, there were two caps. That were broken. Which two were that? Both on the outside. Okay. Oh, I got three new ones. Okay. Not really necessary. But sure. There we go. Three new ones for you. Maybe it gives me a little bit of a bonus. Who knows? Unmark that. And uh, let's install the oil filter. And this is just one of everything, making it a little bit easier for me. Which means the gearbox will be next. The starter. Drive shaft. Let's 
I believe the starter was broken too. Did I buy a new one? Yes. Oh, I actually got two of them. I didn't even have to buy one. No, not the tire. Drive shaft, please. Thank you. Bit too zoomed out. Cannot even screw it back in place. That's one. And two. Alright. I want to go down, down. Thank you. Bearing in place. Why do I have four bearings? I haven't even used that many. Probably had one of the previous job as well. Keep forgetting what I buy. Thing. Tie rod was not broken. Other tie rod was not broken. This was not broken. No. Alright. So that's everything on the main. From that side. Yes. And let's lower you down. Get the pistons in. I gotta do the same thing here again though. Uh, no. Piston range is just everything. Three pistons that I have to replace. It's the middle one and that one. Okay. So, piston. Let's head over to the other side. Did I just buy every piston? No. Good. It had me worried for a moment. I'm so used to doing the junkyard cars that it kind of goes on full auto mode. Not thinking too much of it. Alright. Let's place the battery back. Engine heads were fine. Spark blocks. Did I buy those? No idea. But I know those have the same issue. So I'll remove that. The rocker arms. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna be more than that in there. Spark blocks. One, two, three, four, five. So that. Oh my god, the push rods are going to be the biggest pain in the rear seat by the looks of it. That means that I do not want to install the engine head just yet, because it did give me a nice overlay. Actually, I have to. Of course I have to. I meant the uh, manifold. I do have to place that one. It's the manifold. That I shouldn't place. This one. Intake manifold. Do not place that. Because this. Give me a nice way. Of looking at the lines. To know. Where the new one has to go. And where it shouldn't go. Push rods. And rocker arms. And once again, this is I don't bother with that when I got a junkyard car or barn find car. Because I keep forgetting about barn find cars. There I just replace everything. But for the story, you actually have to replace the broken part instead of get a new one, put it one more to the right. Something like that. It, it will be upset and it will not count. That's all the push rods and rocker arms by the look of it. So that is done. Can unmark it again. Mark! The parts of minimum condition. Cheering with bits, sir. Thank you very much, sir. But, but, but you, you're working to make money. Stop. 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 <laughs> It's not. 
<laughs> I don't I don't Thank you, sir. Thank you. Please aim right with spark plugs. Yes, I did. Jesus, the chat is still coming in. <laughs> Breaking the OBS sounds. Right, and now the access. <laughs> okay, my heart, my my heart, my head is starting to I'm like crazy again. So excuse me if I'm a bit silent. I'm. Trying to bite through the pain it's giving me. This is why I'm not on the headset either, by the way, but over speaker at the moment. I just... I can't have the headset at, at, at this moment. It's hurting too much. So, the coming few episodes on YouTube, you will see me without headset. For this, that's why I like all the cars. You don't need to be rocket science to fix it. I mean, this is a bit more user friendly, indeed. Although, when you're going to mess with the timing once more, I've, it's still a game that really lacks on that. And it's nice to see. So much improvement already, but for a simulator, there's a whole lot more to fix as well for them. Like, it's not as easy as putting the belt on and you're good to go. There is so much more that goes into it. And with the crankshaft alone, you have to mount it the right way. Like, the knocks have to... I don't know how to explain it in English. It's always my, my trap. Not in native language. We all know by now. <laughs> but the timing chain. It's not like you're just putting the chain on. No, there are actually directions you have to follow. And how tight it is and everything like that. And... The serpentine belt, it actually has to line up with a certain marking that is either on the engine or on one of the idle rollers. Because if it doesn't match with the marks, the car is out of sync really. It's The timing is not adjusted properly and it's either one function or it will function badly. Like misfires occur then. Oh, talking about the belt, there we go. There's usually. And does it show that? What do you say? Do not bend, do not bend. No, and that's the brand name. Okay, but usually there is a marking. Like here is example with an arrow in which direction it has to go and a marking for the timing and either on the roller here or somewhere on the engine in between is a mark as well and both have to line up otherwise you can prepare for a world of chaos actually a funny thing you can do with a Muppet bike if you reverse it like there's no reverse option on it you have to walk backwards to reverse it uh, if you manage to do that serpentine belt just needs to follow a path direction and position doesn't matter so much they're just modern fan belts 
you guys have it so much easier. The timing chain does need to be set correctly to the D TDC. Yeah. You guys have it so much easier then. That's right. I mean, the, the, the cars we have on our hands nowadays, it's, it's, it's not fun. I'm old school. When I open the hood, I want to see the street instead of all the plastic covers and such like that. So it's only the springs and the rod caps now. So we can go down to the bottom. Actually, that's why I got rid of my old car. It was 2000 Volvo S80. The water pump started leaking. And to change it, you had to take the timing chain off because the water pump ran off the timing. Ouch. Ouch. That's no bueno. But yeah, eventually that does happen indeed. And what I do miss in this is the gaskets. In the exhaust and in everything else. It I'm just missing the whole gasket thing. Yeah, hey dad, about the Mazda 3 little hole to take out the oil filter without taking off all the coffers underneath. Expect the hole is out of position. Yeah. And they haven't thought that through on the Renault Kangoo with the dipstick either, because it's all the way on the bottom by the engine, which is A, not reachable, really. Especially when you have driven for a little bit. But you have to touch all the warm parts. To even try to reach it. Uh, I had to adjust something in the timing. I don't even know what anymore. I believe it was the belt. It was just a little bit off, but couldn't even freaking reach it. And it still fell under the warranty though when I got the car. So the garage owner did it where I got the car from in the first place. But it is definitely holding me back to even try to work on it since everything is so cramped up there and it doesn't really make sense in in where goes what like to take the headlight off you have to take part of the bumper off belt tension maybe squeaky squeaky noises one call yeah yeah the tensioner yeah it was too loose it just had to be tightened that was it it was uh it was loose it had to be tightened up but you couldn't even get a freaking wrench in it to tighten that tensioner Uh, with the Ford Mondeo, same issue. If you want to change the headlights, just the bulb of the headlight, forget it. You gotta take the bumper off, you gotta take the underplate off, you gotta take the grill off. Then you can unscrew the headlight unit to push it forwards to be able to finally get to the light bulb. Also, the water pump was on the side of the block. Not in front, so even the Volvo dealership I uh, took it to said to, uh, that I have to take the engine out because there's was no space between the yeah, got a switch screen there um uh, because there was no space between the inter fender and the engine block to get the pump out. Yeah. That, it that, yeah. I just haven't thought it through nowadays. Well, of course they're trying to make it impossible as well, so you actually have to go to the dealership and let them do it. Giving them more money. Hey, I'm missing a tire. Renault again apparently need to get under the splash car to get into the swap the globe. Silly place to hide the <laughs> spot. <laughs> It doesn't even surprise me. And that's the worst part. It, uh, I'm trying to get a... A, um, a hitch? A rear hitch? 
in English, I guess. To pull a caravan or a car or something like that. And with the previous cars, the mounting was already there. It was just get one, put the wires through, mount it on, and happy to go. Now it has to be welded in. Toe hitch. Toe ball. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. It, it, it's just not doable anymore. There is no entry point for it. That they have to weld it in place. And to do that alone is 680 euro. Alexa. What is 680 euro in dollar? Six hundred and eighty euros is about seven hundred and eighty-five US dollars and seventy-four cents. There's that. It's insane. Yeah. I get. Eh? And my car is already licensed for a tow hitch. Normally. You have to go through the whole checkup routine again, which I also forgot what it's called in America, but you know what I mean. And that tells you how much it can pull. And this one is already, my car is already branded for that, so it shouldn't be an issue at all. And, and it's still so freaking expensive. My brother has a front wheel drive ram truck right now. The rear axle broke, so to get how it, so to get it home from Florida, uh, he pulled the axles out of the rear wall on the side of the road. Yeah, you gotta do something. <laughs> You're lucky it even drives then, because... Sensors be like, nope, I do not appreciate this. It's like 200 euro for a basic light uh, H and 330 for a high capacity version of the heavier loads. Well, for my model of car at least. Oh, it's not even model of car here. It's just for everything. And that is one of the cheaper options already that, that I was talking about. Needs to brake fluid. Train all. Get a new one in. Oh, I forgot the brake servo. Where are you? I was about to say, you're usually... And uh, yeah, it's ridiculous expensive. Same with a uh, cruise control, to get an aftermarket cruise control, 860, so the other way around. What will be what, 900 dollar? Almost thousand? Oh, and put a little actual... You broke the gears in the blue. <laughs> you broke the freaking gears. Is this car done? Yay! We finished the car! One more story done. Hey, level 10! Upgrades! 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 Although, there's not much to upgrade, really. No, that's not true. We got the uh, repair bit now, so I want those two still. Then we can repair everything. I got so much parts left. And then a case. If you do a story order, you get a case with constraints. Either money, a new case, or scrap bonus, uh, burn location. Alright, so we, we got it. So, sell or, or salvage? I'm going for sell. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going for sell. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Oh, I haven't even used the front exhaust section. I did buy it twice, but I only needed it once. Two wheel, uh, bearings, four bushings, five. Five small bushings. Why is there one here? Small rubber bushing. Then three gap, and then one, two, three, four more. It gives me the feeling I'm forgetting something. Oh, that, that that's the new story order. It's not for now, though. Um, hmm. Got 40 grand. Not a whole lot. Auto repair. The shop is open. 
And too bad you cannot jump into this truck. It will be fun. Okay, let's head to the junkyard. Let's buy one more car. But we're most likely not going to finish that though. Because I got about... Six minutes left. There we are. Alright. What is the cheapest and worst thing we can buy out here? The Sixton. 4,235. That actually might be the winner already. I don't think it will get much cheaper than that. Ooh. Nissan. This is the DLC. 6,000. Yep, we are more expensive. I figured... Nothing in the path. Not really. Squishly, yo, what's up? The sky, I hope. <laughs> no, I'm doing good, doing good. Got, got a little bit of a headache going on, but oh, this is actually cheaper. The FMV Panther MK1. How are you doing? And welcome to the stream. Can I get a. <laughs> Something like that? <laughs> You're catching. Uh, the end of it really though, because in about six minutes it will be time for me to peace off. Uh fair lady get your wangan midnight on. My, no, my, my lady is upstairs at the moment. Oh Damn. Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> That's one way to make an entrance. Holy. Dude, 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 <laughs> dude, dude. Uh, I one of as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually forgot all the numbers I was spinning out. You broke me. <laughs> I just, just thank you. <laughs> Uh, Nissan Fair, Fair Lady, the, the cube, it appears in a manga slash anime. Which, which, which manga slash anime? Okay, I actually broke. What the, uh, hey, was I even? Okay, dealer's choice. Uh, Delray Custom or the, um... Dude, 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 dude. Another follow. Thanks for the follow. From Black Blue Cat. Hello, Black Blue Cat, and welcome to the stream. Uh, so the the that uh, uh, custom or this one, the Panther M Key one. Although, I'm in my opinion, this is still the BMW um, E three hundred and eighteen. Although the 318 has different headlights. But I think it's the same car still. It might be in a, a 316i. I used to have one. But the 316i has four doors and the 318... No, there wasn't in between. It actually it had the two doors and then you had the compact version which just cut off right there. Oh. Alright, Panther or Delray Custom? What are we gonna do? Well let me know in chat. What what well it will be for the next stream then, but <laughs> <laughs> I will make a start. I will make a start. Hi Duggo. Hey, hey, Oh, Dago wants to say hi. Dago wants to say hi. Ah, oh, Flappy. Yeah, hi. You're a bit of an uh, asshole lately. Uh, FMW, and yeah, it looks like an E36 model, and yeah, 318 CI or something like that. And, uh, exactly what I figured too. Oh, what the? 
Iya, hai. Sembai. Iya. Fine ya. Almost. Oke, okay, let's buy this one then. Uh, buy it. Perfect. Oh, that was even cheaper as, as well. Works for me. And let's go back to the garage. Yes. Alright. Alright. Let's take it apart. Let's do it! No. No. <laughs> And there it is. It has no wheels on that side already. Yeah, it's definitely a BMW. I love how this side is on bricks, even though it has wheels there. Probably no suspension there then. Ooh, that's broken, broken. Uh, okay, you were in the scrapyard for a reason. Let's start by washing this off. And then I will piece out of the re recording blue I'm blue no do not finish that gosh content warning oh my god this is so rusted this is so rusted terrible I actually I <laughs> had to put mine to the scrapyard as well, though. Better. I I do like like those headlights. Is that an A or an B? This is B. I figured. The angel eyes B. Okay. Uh, return that. Yes. Right, and that will be for a different time, really. Even though I'm starting to pick it apart anyway, because it's me and. I suck at doing the outros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I had different tail lights as well. More fancy tail lights. And mine was uh, slammed down on the front and raised on the back. Do I have a picture of that? Somewhere. I I do not have the time for that. I really gotta got a sign out there. So this will be for the next time. All right, that's all we have the time for today. Time to cut it to an end. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully see you on the next one. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. And for more about me, check out Facebook, Instagram, or my Discord channel. And catch you on the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye.